Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content, and I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Um, today I have five things that I bought at the thrift store on one of my last thrift hauls, and I'm going to upcycle them today, and I'm gonna hopefully give you some inspiration if you see these things out and about, and you can make something for yourself. So, lots of work, let's get started. And this is what I'm going to be upcycling today. I picked up this wooden shelf, has a little heart, wooden heart underneath it, um, a wooden key holder that's got some folk art painting on it, paid $1.99 at Value Village for it, a glass plate that I'm going to upcycle, and a couple vintage wooden bowls. The first thing that I'm going to work on today is the wooden shelf. I'm not too fussy with the heart on it, so I'm going to take the heart off and it looks like it's just nailed on there. I'm going to use my hammer and I'm able to pry it right off. I'm going to save the heart and upcycle it and I'm going to add a piece of wood to the back of the shelf to fill in that area where the heart was. I have a piece of scrap pine that's the right thickness and I just need to cut it to length so I'm just going to lay it down and then mark it with my pencil and then I'm going to take it outside and cut it with my jigsaw so it'll fit right in between those two brackets. I've got it all cut. I'm going to fit it in between those two brackets, put a little bit of wood glue on them and nail them to the ends. Okay, that fit in there perfect. I love the way it turned out. And now I'm going to give it a really good coat of um, some of my brown homemade chalk paint. And I want to give this a little bit of a distressed look, so I'm going to use some Vaseline. And I'm just going to add the Vaseline wherever I think that this would have aged naturally. Just kind of wipe it on with my finger here and there. Um, and then what this does is wherever you put the paint on top of the Vaseline, it won't adhere. And when you sand it or wipe it down, it'll expose the wood underneath. And now I'm going to put a coat of my homemade white chalk paint over top of the brown chalk paint and when I'm all finished it's going to have a really rustic kind of chippy feel to it. If you haven't checked out my homemade chalk paint recipe I'll put a link below in the description for the video for that. I've taken it outside and I'm giving it a really good sanding. Okay, now I'm going to add some graphics. I made these graphics the other day. I love them. Real farmhouse, vintage look. I'm going to just use a portion of it. I'm just going to use the general store, staples, provisions, and I'm going to put it on that piece of wood that I added in at the bottom where the heart was. I'm going to do my Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method. If you've been following along, you know I love this method. It's so versatile for so many different projects. I'm going to use my Mod Podge mat and put a liberal amount over the whole graphic. And now it's dried the next day and I've dampened it and now I'm rubbing all of the paper off and the graphic is going to be left on. And look how fantastic it turned out. I was so glad I took that heart off and added that piece of wood. It just finished it off perfectly. So really I got two projects out of one because now that I've finished this shelf and I love it, I am going to show you what I'm going to do with the little heart. I've taken the heart outside and I want to make it really kind of old looking so I'm taking my hammer and kind of banging all around the edges so it gives it kind of a softened worn look. And as you can see I kind of just put some dings and some little holes in it and I'm going to use my candle wax. I'm using the candle wax all around the edges and then I'm going to paint it with some brown chalk paint and wherever I've put that candle wax the paint isn't going to adhere to it so when I sand it it's going to come off all chippy and lovely and layered adding some more candle wax and then I'm going to put on this turquoise color which I love. I think it complements that dark brown really well and let it dry, put on some more candle wax and then I'm going to put my top coat on of some white chalk paint. I get carried away sometimes with all my different layers of colors when I'm doing my painting techniques. Taking it outside, giving it a really good sand and this is a quote that I'm going to use on this little heart. Pray big, worry small. Same technique to put on the graphics, the Mod Podge Reverse Graphic Transfer. I'll put a link down below if you're not familiar with this for a full tutorial on how to do it. I'm going to do this in two parts because I want the Worry Small a little bit smaller um, font. So I've printed it off twice and sized it up 
and, and now I'm ready to add it onto the heart. And I'm gonna save all these other little pieces because I'll use them on another project. Put on my Mod Podge and then it's dried the next day, rub all the paper off and you have a fantastic little heart that you can set on a shelf or on a counter and I love the different colors peeking through on this. Turned out fantastic. Next project, I'm gonna work on this key holder. Now it had a knot that was bleeding through and if I was to paint over that, it would still bleed through again. So I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna sand it down really well, but I'm gonna use some of this bin primer and it will seal in that knot so it won't bleed through the chalk paint when I paint it. If you're ever working with wood that has knots or something that keeps bleeding through, this primer works fantastic. I'll put a link down below in the description um, for an Amazon link for that product. And I'm just painting it with some white chalk paint on top of that primer. Taking it outside, gonna give it a quick sand. And this is a graphic that I'm gonna use. I'm only gonna use a portion of it though. I'm just gonna use the keys. And again, same method. You can see how versatile this Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer is um, to use it on so many different projects. I just love it. So I've cut out that keys and it's gonna fit perfect on the top of that key holder using my Mod Podge mat. Just gonna brush some on and then flip it over and then set it aside and let it dry for the night. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll rub it off. I'm sure when you guys are out thrifting, you always find these little pieces of handmade wooden ornaments, uh, decor from the 90s, and they're so easy to upcycle and make them look really fantastic in your house again. How great does this look? Okay, and on to the next upcycle. I'm gonna upcycle this glass tray or plate. Um, it's just, it's beautiful, but I think I can make it even better. I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna spray it with this bin primer. It adheres to glass really well. So if you put a base coat of this on, you can paint chalk paint, latex, acrylic on top of it and it will not go anywhere. So I've let the primer dry and now I'm putting on some of my homemade white chalk paint. And this is a graphic that I'm going to use on this project. All of these graphics are available in my Etsy store. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 because you can get 50% off of all the graphics in there. You'll get the three files, a PNG, a JPEG, and a PNG that's already reversed if you wanted to try this method. It saves you from fiddling, having to make your own graphics, and then trying to figure out how to reverse them. And I've left the back just glass. I think that works out perfect. And now I'm just gonna set this aside, let it dry. It's now the next day, just dampen it enough just so you can start to see the graphics show through and then rub off the paper and you know what happens. You have a fantastic graphic left on your project and I love this and I love the quote. I think it would look really nice if you had a nice plate hanger to put it on the wall or just to put it on a little shelf or on a hutch. Welcome to our beautiful chaos. And now on to our last project, and this one is so easy. I've just got two wooden bowls, and I'm going to actually just hot glue the smaller bowl into the bottom of the bigger bowl, and I'm gonna make it into a tiered display bowl. So simple and so easy, and I'm just using my Gorilla Hot Glue. It'll hold those two together really well. And if you've gone back and you've seen my video on how to paint wooden beads, it's fantastic. You can paint beads so fast. And these are left over from that project. So I'm just gonna hot glue them around where that the bowls meet. And I think it looks fantastic. I made like a marbled kind of black gray bead. And I also had some textured white and black beads. And I just kind of staggered them one around the other and I think it looks fantastic. You can fill this with fruit or vegetables and display it on your table or any kind of filler for a seasonal decor. And there you go, all five projects that I've upcycled. And let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. And don't forget, if you love any of these graphics, you can grab them out of my Etsy store, use the code SAVE50, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. 
I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.